All right. It's that time. It's time for Beyond Sight and Sound. Let's do this. Shooters and Prospectors. Help people find treasure. Did you say treasure? Yes, treasure. Just listen to this amazing review from our happy customer, Jackie Sparrow. Err, Chuck was ship shape and a pleasure to deal with. I was able to buy everything that I needed at prices that were shillings less than others. I found my nine pieces of meat in no time. Sammy? I know you're asking yourself, why should I shop at SW Shooter and Prospectors? Chuck Smalley has over 45 years of metal detecting experience. He works with each customer one on one to customize their setup to match their skill level. So if you have always dreamt of being a pirate, Arr. Contact Chuck at SNW Shooters and Prospectors and he'll take a great deal for you. I pass the rum, not included. Caution. Please do not operate motor vehicles or power equipment while under the influence of this show. Listening to this show could cause side effects such as bouts of laughter, violent binges of cabin fever, and even dreams of silver and gold. Please be advised. Now that the fine print is out of the way, on with the show. Oh, okay, we're back. We're live once again. Uh, After a little bit of a delay, we were not here Wednesday. Uh, There were were things going on that needed dealt with uh, right then, actually. So once again, I was MIA. I know, people are not sure where to find me anymore. But, uh, hey, they they find me pretty clearly today. I've got this neon orange shirt on that, I mean, you you can't miss me. I mean, it's not even a Cinderella story or anything. It's like... Like somebody let this six foot tall killer pumpkin loose and I'm tearing through the neighborhood on a rampage, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, trying to get everything set up here, make sure the links are where, where they should be in everything, which they should be everywhere. We were trying to get them. I, uh, I was trying to make sure that we got it over to the Detecting the Heartland group tonight. And I do believe I got that accomplished. Yay! We'll take the wins where we can get them. How's it going, Chuck? It's doing good. How are you doing there? Uh, It's it's, uh, Our weather has cleared off. We didn't have any storms. Scott was saying that they had some bad stuff up his way today. Uh, And it's cleared off, and I think we're going to have a drying day or two where we don't have all the rain and storms rolling through so 
And Shannon, according to my rain gauge over the past couple of days, about two inches of rain. And uh, yeah, it's it, good for your garden. Yeah, the garden's doing great right now. So are the weeds coming in behind it. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go yeah. hack that. Yeah. And they always seem to grow faster than the plants. Oh, yeah. But the, everything's doing good. And the fields we planted over on the farm, they're doing good. We're all good shape now. So sit back now and get right. out and do some acting, huh? But, uh, yeah, uh, everybody. I hope you all dodge bad weather. That's that's been the key around here. Right. The uh, other day, and I. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the other day, uh, sirens blaring, going off all around us. Nasty weather coming through. And this, they hit the sirens again on our side of the river here. And as I was going through the kitchen to head down to the basement, I'm watching out and I'm watching. Yeah, we had spin in there and about four miles out from the house, one dropped out, but it just went through empty cornfields, bean fields. It didn't do any damage. It went back up. They got it on video. It's out of Garden Plain, which by air is about where it dropped down was about four miles. And uh, but you could see the spin and it hadn't come down yet, so that was close enough. I doggone it, that uh, nobody got hurt with that one here lately. I think they call that Thursday around here, yeah. So, oh, I uh, I sent Scott McClurry a message earlier tonight to see if he wanted to join in with us too, but I think the cats got him a little intimidated. Uh, I offered to protect him from the cat though, but he's, you know, he's a busy guy, but we do have some other folks sitting in with us tonight too. So let's get them in here. There they are. <laughs> hey friend. Yes. There they are. How are you two? Well, tired. <laughs> almost recovered. Almost recovered. <laughs> I was telling Casey that I think next year we need to take the whole week off the next week after the hunt because we're getting older and it's pretty hard to recover. Older? Come on. <laughs> That's like, just wait. <laughs> That's, uh, how many, how many did you actually have hunting? Hunting? Um, Counting special guests or no? No, just, just the people, you know, the members. Uh, well, we think we had around 300 people there. Total. With but kids but and not guests. all of them were hunting, no. Okay. Um, all right. We had a, officially 200 paid members hunt. Um, hunt. Yeah. And they all showed, yes. And they, every single one of them showed up, which was amazing. Even with the field you had, you need a bigger field. My God. <laughs> oh, it was insane. Yeah, it's much bigger for that open was, field. That was a good field. I'm not I, yeah. I'm thinking. <laughs> of, I, there was a lot of people. I walked up and was kind of watching a little bit, and I'm going, "Oh man, they're going like mad." Yeah, yeah and they do every year. Though. I was oh yeah, to get the guests out there. There was probably 240. Yeah, 230, 240 people. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That uh, the site was nice and mm -hmm. uh, busy. We were busy. The the Night before at the meet and greet, uh, you had quite a crowd there too, and um, it kept all of us busy with the raffles and this kind yeah. of stuff. And I had some people helping Frank and and uh, Richard. Richard. Yeah. Richard. Richard did not get a break. He was tearing tickets for yeah. I don't he know. Was, he was sweating, I think, at one point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't even talk to him. I, he had a he had a rhythm going, man. He was just he was working it. Yeah, yeah I can't say how much we appreciate the way he Richard was working it. We may have to give him a nickname. <laughs> Nick we'll babe. have to call him Strong Arm. The ticket. There you go. <laughs> uh, he was a great help, and everybody was doing very well with what was going on. It was a lot of fun, and mm -hmm. we. Uh, put uh kg i don't know people we didn't film this i don't think we put kg and ringy on trial 
had to come out <laughs> yeah. be judged in front of everybody for uh, their uh, stealing of the telephones, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we got them out front and made them sit down, and I held a little court and turned it over, and it didn't help because I walked away from my phone the next day, and they stole it. <laughs> 30 pictures on my phone at, Unsurprised. at the uh at the dinner after the hunt so yeah we'll have a lot more pictures next year to develop and uh give away just like this year yeah, i can send you all kinds of them <laughs> those two characters and uh but it was a great hunt quarter order doug and the third one with them charlie charlie demas charlie Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just yeah. met him. And uh, yeah, Scott, we we tried to execute and it didn't work. Um, I'm reading stuff in the chat here. Judge <laughs> Bury and Executioner. And, uh, we had fun with that, though, and they took it well, and everybody had a laugh. And uh, But we raised money for a good cause, and uh, that's great. Uh, the, the whole group needs to be congratulated on. Yeah doing that we ended up getting five thousand five hundred total fantastic i know i turned over a chunk 3800 $3, bucks you raised 3800 of it so yeah, yeah. outstanding by itself well with a couple silvers the next day brought in another 800 mm -hmm. and it was in the prize pool people saw it but we like you said, so many people just kept giving more and more things to donate. So right. many members donated something, and yeah, it was great. We had a couple of detectors. We had, uh, oh god, I can't remember what all I gave Bill out. Wilberg donated the uh, finds box mm -hmm. uh, with the arrowheads and um, beads in it too. So, yeah, that was very nice. I mean, really, uh, really cool. cool. Uh, who won the gold bunny? Who was that kid? Young man, out of, I think he was out of Iowa. He come up and I talked to him a little bit, and he and again, he said the wife's gonna like it. That's all I know. Yeah. <laughs> I am not sure who won that. It's no. such a whirlwind. It, I don't know who won. Yeah, what. he was going so fast all through that thing, mm -hmm. and I. Uh, he was very happy. He come back later and he's holding it. He said, what do you think the value is? I said, on the market is a piece of jewelry. It's $500 or more. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to Alaska and see these things without a change, selling very similar in the price line. And when you have something that can look like an animal like that, it just increases the value of it naturally. And it's cool. And uh, but we had a lot of fun. We gave out a lot of detectors and prizes. You guys had all kinds of stuff from all over, and I think every manufacturer came through and donated something or more, and uh, it helped out for the cause. And uh, hopefully, it helps them along. Yeah. Yep. And then so, at the meet and greet, KG made me wear a kilt this year, so that yep. was fun. Yep. <laughs> made him. I'm pretty sure yeah, he you were to cool. wear a kilt as man. long as yeah, right. as long as KG was wearing his, he would wear it. Yeah, <laughs> well, it it was fun. It's all part of it. You got to have some fun with stuff like that, and uh, it was good time and yeah, nice I place. Just, and I ended up getting to hunt Sunday morning. I got a nice nice little gold ring. And a couple other things, and uh, but the neat there thing there were a number of gold rings that showed up. Yeah, yeah. And I just want to see. I saw Jason's um, Jason Weir's uh, comment about XB should be a corporate sponsor. We would love to have XB sponsor, but they don't sponsor anything outside of Europe anymore, which is a bummer. <laughs> yep. They they totally dropped it after the yep. Team USA. Yep. Team USA kind of dissolved. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I wasn't gonna say that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I would like to add that was because of no doing of mine. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was, uh, I'm reading comments here. Right. Yeah. We're trying to keep up too. An excellent hunt. And we've got to find, uh, uh, you got to see if somebody can come up with another camp next year. We have, we have uh, several options that we just need to go and visit um, to make sure they fit our needs. Yeah. Um, because every year, you know, we've grown bigger and bigger. Um, I don't know that I want to get any bigger than what no, we have this year. Gonna, that, no, was, that, that was, that, that was, was the capacity. That, yeah, yeah I, I, it was very, very big. Yeah. And uh, the camp, I don't know who cooked up that pulled pork. That was very good. Was the camp, camp cook do that or? So the catering service actually runs out of the camp. So they use uh, that whole kitchen facility, okay. but they're not, they're not like run not by the camp. camp. Yeah. It's just okay. a catering service, mm -hmm. but they were great. Their food were, was awesome. Their beans were great. Maybe not so much for the people at the night hunt, <laughs> but they were really good. <laughs> Did you get any wicks at the night hunt? <laughs> I I found a few items, and then my left knee started saying, "What are you doing, stupid?" And, uh, <laughs> I got up, and I wasn't too bad the next day. But after getting back home, it was talking to me pretty good from crawling yeah. hard. Yeah. Went hard. They hadn't had the rain we've had. Yeah, like that was, but it was fun. It was more fun watching kids holding the detectors, the string, yeah, and trying to bounce it along and find something. Yeah, and then I was watching an adult just dragging it, mm -hmm. you know, whipping it around. And it was like, well, you either get out on your hands and knees, or yep. you get really lucky with a one inch coil, right? <laughs> so, but that was fun. <laughs> it was fun and talk with a lot of people I'd only get to see maybe once twice a year and right and uh was able to help some people I noticed one thing I had more people at this hunt come to me and I'm not talking one or two I'll bet there was at least a dozen couldn't get their detectors to pair down in there oh their really so I I actually factory reset one and it took off and then, and it just wasn't mine lab. There was Garrett's that wouldn't pair. And I'm out there messing with them, trying to get them to pair up. And um, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. uh, that was different. Yeah, that's weird. It, it really was a dead zone down there, though. There was yeah. no, no phone signal whatsoever, mm -hmm. and, which I'm okay with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, I think it was you, Mindy, set me up on the Wi Fi. I got you on the Wi Fi, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could use when people wanted to charge stuff and it worked good. So yeah, uh, that was good. And I see Scott says you got to have cell signal at the next hunt. That's not <laughs> going to be an always an option. That's just no. kind of where we have. The, the we're thing. going to be down in the valleys along the river. <laughs> yeah. It's gone. I live. Mm -hmm. there. I know. We'll always have like there, there will always be options for us to be able to reach emergency services if we need to. But but as far as no. guaranteeing a cell signal, we'll never be able to guarantee that. Richard Crookmeyer, he said he had problem pairing it. Dennis Grettencourt couldn't get his wife's to pair. I had people coming up that had tried for a long time after they That's got. That's weird, pair. though. That it shouldn't weird. matter about. Would not pair up, pair up. So I actually grabbed mine and paired up right away. But I'm like, hmm. And then, was it because there were so many detectors in the area been, that it's trying to pair to different detectors? Right. Would have been. I mean, there was people always around down on the tents down there where the yeah we're all <laughs> Frankie. I've noticed when we hunt in groups, sometimes mine does not pair as well yeah. because there's two or three mine labs near me, and it's confused. I think on good. where to go. But yeah, got everybody paired yeah, up. That's a good possibility. It's trying to decide which detector to go to. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> we do have cool. Frankie's rocker. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I heard about oh. Frankie. No, he picked it up yesterday. Oh, he picked it up. Oh, okay. He picked it up. Frankie calls me and says, "You got my chair?" <laughs> I'm going. No. <laughs> well, we put it in the truck. Left it behind. It was did. it was leaning against the dinner bell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Leaning against the dinner bell. And I told him, I said, I'll tell you what, there's a lost and found. Oh, geez. I took him anywhere. Well, uh, we knew it was your one of your guys's. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you don't know. Uh, you don't know. 
<laughs> Trust me. Okay. Um, anyway, he tracked it down through Chris or you, whoever, because there was also a digger missing or two. Oh. And Chris said he had those, but I think the people come back and got them. Oh, okay. I think. Don't know. And Chris says, I got a pile of stuff. I said, well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Usually <it> is. <laughs> but when you got 250 hunting with the kids, something's going to get left behind. Yeah. It's so we had the big surprise there with for me. Cool. And there were a lot of happy people with everything that was given out. There were some great detectors. I think uh, a manicore and 600s and 900s and uh, 800s and Garrett's and you name it. It was off. Awesome. Not the. Not, yeah, not the. Yeah, yeah. So. Nice mixture. <laughs> right. And lots of neat little those boxes, wooden boxes. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Harbor Freight special. They're nice. They're really nice. I'll have to go look at one. There's a Harbor mm -hmm. Freight in Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. Our buddy, our buddy is a store manager. Like our friend, he's been our friend since high school. So, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, it was good he seeing you again. Too, and, and Emily and seeing all everybody come in. They're doing well down in their new digs down there. So it was fun. And Josh, did you see the big surprise for Ringy? I don't believe so. I oh, I must have missed what? that. <laughs> so he's a huge Hawkeye fan. And of course, we are huge Cyclone fans. And we Oh yeah, back I did forth. see that. Yep, yep. So when we yeah, I the did see that. of booking the mascot from the school, I didn't know it was possible, but I heard through Chris Moe and a member that you could book him. Immediately when I heard that you could book yeah, the mascot. Yeah, that's kind of surprised me. I saw yeah. Chris is signed in here tonight. Hey, Chris, by the way, I was going to oh, say yeah. that. Good. Yeah, he's so on he Facebook. Booked him immediately. <laughs> Chris, oh my gosh. Chris worked hard. Did he need to help get this? Well, yeah, yeah. He was help, helping me get in touch with the right people because it was yeah. not easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris did it. That's good. Yeah. And uh, so, Josh, we had a ringy lineup with his back to the building. And uh, on the walkie, we were communicating with uh, one of my admin who had Cy right next to him. And so when Ringy got up to the building, with his back to the building, uh, Mindy presented him. He, she said, I know you like watching birds. <laughs> so she gave him a stuffed Cy mascot bird and then a goofy hat, cyclone hat, and a, a number one <laughs> foam finger. finger. And so he thinks, oh, this isn't so bad. You know, he's posing for pictures, thinking this is the big surprise. Um, and he's saying go Hawks the whole time, you know, and then um, little does he know, Sai's walking up behind him, taps him on the shoulder, <laughs> and he turns around and sees a giant bird right next to him, you know, and about dies. It was perfect. It was <laughs> it was and then the cheerleader was a bonus, too. Yeah. There's supposed to be three cheerleaders, but we'll take one. Yeah. Yeah, she I turned around, and I see Sai Hawk and her go by, and she's right behind him, and I'm like, oh, God, what's this? <laughs> I had no idea that what it was set up to be. Right. Nobody did other than a couple admin. <laughs> they came through. They shook hands. It was a lot, yeah. of, it was a lot of fun. Something yeah. different. I'll tell you that to see a big red bird. Well, the picture of Cy using the metal detector is yeah, that was great. pretty much perfect. I, I love that uh, so much. Yep. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun <laughs> all weekend. All yeah. Weekend. It was and, a really good weekend. And then Ringy with the bird on Sunday. Huh? Yeah. Ringy with the bird that he yeah. tamed on Sunday. The indigo bunting. Yeah. That, that was really neat. I think he's right. I think he hit a window and was a little. Oh, weird. I agree. Yeah. Because it, it flew off not too long afterwards. Good. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. The cat. <laughs> Richard, Richard says, my knuckles hurt. With all <laughs> Bumps from Cy. We got a ton of pictures with Ringy and the mascot, and uh, Ringy even actually gave him a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't get any pictures of him metal detecting with Ringy. That would have been pretty no, awesome. That would have been good. 
Yeah, yeah. So, but no, you did a good job, kids. It was a good hunt, and you put it all together, and we pulled our hair out getting everything together and tried to get more for you and, and for Heath and Kelly. And uh, I mean, this, this one was our ninth one, um, and every year it seems to come together easier and easier. Um, there's yep. always there's always going to be hiccups, but oh, it, it was it was very it, it felt like you know well as as it could, yeah, yeah right it's always a madhouse for a while no matter how good you are at it there's there's a certain amount of chaos yeah I mean, you got to take <laughs> charge get the chaos under control and go with yeah, it yeah all you can do is coordinate the chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Direct learn to how to delegate that is the big thing with us especially when you uh tell folks not to show until seven at the earliest and they're there at 6 30 you know there's 50 cars or whatever like, guys i can't we're not check even you and me to fully set, up, set up yet they they said what time to be there i said okay frank and i got moving around and we dennis and his wife went downtown to a little bakery and Frank says, they went to that bakery. All right, I'll, I'll go grab a donut. Went in there and it wasn't just a bakery. It was a nice little restaurant. Breakfast. Ooh. I'm going to sit down and have breakfast. End of story. And boy, it was fresh. Uh, That's sick. a really good idea. I didn't even know that it there was that. That bakery. We, we were too busy. We couldn't have. We couldn't have. <laughs> well, that morning, the only place that had vehicles parked was about a block on each side across from that little bakery. And they were coming in and <laughs> they had donuts by the, I'll bet they had a thousand different donuts in the rack. Mm. They were going out. Wow. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Dennis knows what I'm talking about. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Then we got out there. We weren't late, but we got out there and, and it was nice to have the stuff kind of set up already. All we had to do is put the top up and, yep lay the stuff on the tables and we had good weather. I was, you know, you always worry you put those awning things up and when right. they may be two miles away. One thing yeah. that I Plans think of every year and try best. to remember yeah. is to not put up the tables the night before because they get all wet. Yeah. But yep. what did we do? We put the tables up the night before and they got all yeah. wet. Like, but uh, that's right. It was called the Dutch bakery down there, Shannon. Oh, yeah, they Dutch letters. Hmm. Good stuff. Yeah, no, okay. no, that's Frankie's in the house, by the way. I he, saw him. We saw his comment. That's why I was sitting on his chair. Back, trust me. Can't put maybe making shirts for the tenth hunt. That is something we might look into. Yeah, definitely. We'd have to. Um, get sizes that's the tough the, the part pro sizes. yeah the problem is we we should just get if we're gonna do something like that um we just need to buy like a whole bunch a whole bunch of different sizes not necessarily do orders but just do a whole bunch yeah it's not easy no that's why like gary didn't do shirts yeah, it's, it's it's not i pre-ordering works much better yes. that way yeah. you're not left with sizes right, that right. you can't get rid of and and yeah, I, no easy way. <laughs> I would say there's not really any easy way, <laughs> especially with that many people. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I I met new. You always meet new people, and you get to see old friends, and you get I, just not enough time in the day to talk to everybody. There was a uh, a lot of new faces this year. I think yeah, there was. Um, so I hope they all had a good time. <laughs> they did. I'm sure he did. I didn't see unhappy people on no. You had a nice spread of of targets out there with your little Roman coins. People were coming, oh, I got a Roman. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> and you don't have to spend the money to go in England. There you go. There it is. Yeah. 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 They hammer. do get a kick out of finding those Roman coins. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. We gotta get Josh back next year. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. I and but going going live off of a cell phone, I don't know if I'd had a speaker mic, 
Yeah. Could hear better with it. It'll work better. I could have kept it out. I'm trying to hear and do this kind of stuff. Right. I don't know if anybody logged on and watched it, but they must have had a good laugh out of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we went live a little later than anticipated, but there were some people dropping in and checking it out. Well, yeah. When I tried to call you earlier, I was down in the valley. I couldn't get a call. Out. So I had to move, eat, get back out there. And then I thought, well, if it's going to work, it's going to work now. And it did. I was, we were lucky. And I was working off of 5G, not. Yeah, because the Wi-Fi wouldn't go down that far. Wi-Fi wouldn't work. Yeah. No. And that's the other thing. I know how. Uh, sketchy reception can be sometimes at right. some of these locations and that's why i said well we, we've got to test it first and see we can't just tell them we're going to do it because who right. knows maybe maybe it can't be done right and hopefully for next year if it's where i hope it will be it's going to be really easy to coordinate just the same if if Closer to home. Closer to potentially. home. Potentially. <laughs> okay. Potentially closer to home. I, you know, it doesn't bother me to travel over there. We could yeah. even go over on the far western side, be close to South Dakota, do something like that. It would, you know, a lot of people go, oh, and, oh well, but this was the fun. Problem, the problem that we have is that we, ha we, you know, we'd have to drive it all over. So huh. that's renting a bigger U Haul or, you know. You need a semi. <laughs> We yeah. were full. <laughs> I, I almost through. wish we would have gotten a bigger one because it was it was very full, even when we were coming back. And that's just I mean, we have those big giant tents now and like it's 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 a lot of stuff. If you <laughs> if you start studying for your CDL now, Casey, you might be able to make it in time. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. And Jason Weir wants to know if anyone caught KG using the new storm. <laughs> nope. They would, not, they would not give us any information. They wouldn't even confirm the name of the thing. And I you're tried going to even out, after though. a mascot. <laughs> right. No, they're, they're well, being they're tough. Was worth a shot. Very, very hush, hush. I almost tricked them into it, but it didn't work. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to remember if they'd been the only ones there, we weren't doing bro uh, live broadcast type stuff, and no other de no other dealer or manufacturer rep was there. You might have got to see it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. So, the name no, the name is going to be the storm. I know that. Yep. And uh, it, I hope, from what I've heard, that just hang on, it'll be good. <laughs> so we'll we'll have to check that out. We'll have to check that out. Mm -hmm. So what? What would you do different, you two? What What could we do different? I should um, do, but all of it. Is there anything the first, you can do? The first thing that comes to mind is leading up to the hunt is post every single day how to how to dig a plug every single day. There you Someone go. posting, hey, this is how you dig a plug. Even when there's lots of people around you, this is what you need to do. Even for people, a lot of people said, oh, this is these. I can tell you're a noob. No, I can tell you right now, it was not noobs digging those some. those awful plugs. Some was for sure. <laughs> Some you, can, you can tell they couldn't pinpoint properly, so they're digging small little chunks. Um, so it's definitely some of it was being new, but others was being lazy. And they just laziness, because they would leave they would leave their garbage in the holes. They would yeah, leave the garbage we, next to the right. holes. I'm like, I, guys, come on. But they have to pay a deposit for this. And if there's a damage <laughs> deposit that we don't get back because of this. Sunday, when I went down detecting where we were all out front there, Casey, you know. I get a signal. I got a good signal. I'm sitting there and I'm going back and forth and I'm looking. There was a rather large plug cut. They had rolled it up. 
Evidently, when they rolled it up, they must have taken about three inches of dirt with them and then put it down and didn't recheck. In the middle of that plug was a nice little silver ring. Yeah. They, they didn't even find it. Because they're in a big old hurry. Too. Butterfly. I got a little silver butterfly charm. That's mm. what that. They totally messed it. And I, I'm not blaming anybody necessarily other than that might have been a new hunter. That's yeah. My guess. They aren't slimming down on their pinpoint. They said, we'll just open up a 10 by 10 by 10 hole. Oh, must not have been. Put it back yeah. And, walk away. See, and I'm, I'm not, I'm okay with big plugs dug on a hinge and placed back properly. It's the little tiny plugs that animals are going to redig up. Like, and, they and they're going to die so quickly. But, I, yeah. But, unfortunately, it's impossible to... You can't police it. Yeah. Police 230 people. And, um, you know, we talked about if we catch it next year, we can kick them out, you know, type thing. Or properly teach them <laughs> if that's the problem. But It's going to cause more drama than we want to deal with, honestly. Um, so, like... But, overall, the camp said a hundred oh. times how much they loved having us and it yeah. was such a fun event and we're welcome to come back and we get that every year thank goodness that yes you, you guys want to come back next year you know and we're like well we'd like to switch up each year and right. we might look we might holler at you, you know down the road here a few years from now right. and come back now i'm late the maintenance guy he I'm, even went detecting with uh harold de cure um yeah. on late saturday yeah he went detecting he was having so much fun he was having a blast and they went up into some old spots up in the timber that he knew about and, yeah we're all and i believe it. debbie with mind lab is going to hook him up um you know help him out getting a machine and stuff mm. so well he it, was very excited and he's instrumental on the, he's since joined dth and he's been instrumental in Telling people what their campfire finds are. Yeah, all they're like, symbols, no, no one knows what these pins. things mean unless they've been directly involved with campfire. So, yeah, it's been really cool to see him identifying these finds. Cool. That's cool. That's a lot of fun. But I'll tell you what, the, the, the best find that I saw come up from anybody. Now, there was a little gal come over and she had a gold ring and they handed it to me. I'm looking at it. And it was in Elvish Mordor. She oh, found one, 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 one ring to rule them all. Yeah. The one ring. <laughs> the one ring to rule them all. And they're looking at it. I said, look at it. That's what it is. They sold those during the time of mm -hmm. that movie. There you go. How'd well, you know that? I said, I read all the Tolkien. Yeah. Many years ago, a big fan. I went to the movies. I was amazed how well they did with the movies. If you know Tolkien, there you go. One ring to rule them all. Well, that I, wanted was to, one. I wanted to look at it further because it didn't look just like a costumey ring either. It was like etched oh. in. So it was a nice ring. That was a very nice ring. And but, that was a gold glass ring found too. But, yeah, but ringing. Ringy made the best old find of the weekend. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. The button. Yep. I got home. I did some research on it. He got all of me. I told him. And that is an Iowa Indian War button. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Head on. I got nice. Yes. And he found it, what, three inches from the main building right. we were all in. <laughs> Wait, right next it was it was right next to the stairs. Yeah. So, which is oh. ironic because that property, I know it's old because I think the camp was, was originally founded in 1990, but where, I mean, 1919. 1919, but where that big main building was is not, no. it's not that old. No. no. No, but down below it where they didn't move, everything that we were on up front was moved dirt. Right. Yep. Same different layer. Yeah. But it was just loaded with rings and yeah. Rings. yeah. I think we broke over a hundred rings. Yeah, between all the members, a lot of rings came up, and what's the girls' camp? Uh -huh. Right. And, and I've got some post ear rings, different kinds of stuff. You know, the little girl style with the 
pretty little flowers, that kind of stuff. And then I found the gold ring with the little diamond chip in it, like 14 carat, and I found a couple more and a broken ring and just different things. And but Ringy was down around the corner. John White says, You got to see this. I got down there and looked at it, and he says, What do you think? And I'm looking at it. Beautiful. It's still gilded. It still had the full shank. Shank was bent a little bit. Yeah. Boom was fully two piece button. And I told him, I said, I don't think that's Civil War. I think it's post Civil War, but yeah. maybe Indian War. I come home, looked it up. Yes. Indian War. Nice yep. button. I mean, Absolutely gorgeous. Everybody started looking down there then. <laughs> right? Yeah. So that and I know Richard found a ring, too. A little tiny, little tiny. Richard Kukemeyer found a little tiny gold ring, smaller than Evie's finger. 14 even. carat, tiny little baby. Was it 14 carat or 10K? Uh, one of the two. I don't know, but it was beautiful little ring. And she, or he gave it to Evie. Uh, you know, it didn't fit her finger, but she put it on her necklace, and she absolutely loves oh, the wow. ring. So she was oh. excited. Yeah. Mine looks like the back had been run over and squashed in. Yeah. But other than that, that's cool. The air is, I think Scott just said DTH admin should enact a rule that nothing digs is allowed on the seated or pinpointer hunt. We don't. We don't allow people to, we tell people not to dig um, during the seated hunt because we don't. We don't bury anything. It's all right on top. Um, yep. But we we do let people detect the area before we seed it. Yeah. So if they if there were holes there, that yeah. was that was it would have been prior to the seeded hunt. So yeah. Right. And the one thing is, everybody's talking about during the seeded hunt. I don't see anybody digging. Mm -mm. No, because if you are, you're going to miss out on targets. This is all in the open hunting around the area. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know. Maybe we, before you let them go and everybody signed up, we say, look, be careful, do your pinpointing, get it down small, open it up with a hand trowel. And on some of our hunts, we don't allow any shovels at all. That yeah. Up here, none, no shovels. Make them do a small one. Fortunately, water. been there, done that before. You can make the announcement, but yeah, uh, it's, it yeah won't I would it say it's, it's, it's up to them to. I mean, you think everyone is going to be ethical about how they dig because we expect that of ourselves, but not everybody is like that. So, yeah. And and it's not. I would say it's not to say that it's not allowed to to. You you absolutely can dig when when it's the seeded hunt. You're just gonna miss out on, on targets. Yeah. So yeah, you can absolutely dig during the seeded hunt. You're just not gonna find stuff. So You'll probably waste oh yeah, time and I mean the vast yeah. majority of people, the vast majority of people won't because everybody's moving too fast. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, we pre warn them. Yeah. Hey, don't dig during the hunt. You're gonna waste too much time. We didn't bury anything. Mm -hmm. So you're going to miss 10 targets by the time you dig up that clad dime. Right. Miss the 10 targets that are right on top. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You just missed 10 Roman coins for a yeah. 1998 Roosevelt. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's pr pretty much how I put it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's totally true. <laughs> that, that's it. That can be addressed, and we can talk to them as best. I mean, you know, if they dig up garbage, pick up the garbage, put it in your pouch, throw it away later. Just yeah. ask them to do that. I did. I did hit holes, getting a signal, and I could read it. And I, yeah, there's a piece of a can or whatever in there. I just flip it into the pouch and take care. Yeah. Yeah, and we're thinking about maybe having incentives for people to bring their trash in, but that'll just make people bring in their garbage from home. So I don't think <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah. We'll decide the morning of the that, hunt. You know, but, I yeah. did that at a hunt that we had for club only. And this has been three. The clubs were going to compete against each other, a five man team. We did it at the Dragway Park. And Cordova Dragway Park is the capital of four-inch thick pull tabs all over the entire place. And uh, <clears throat> told them we would weigh each team's garbage along. We had points for good stuff and then points for the most garbage. And a five-member team, 
literally dug up, I think it was 31 pounds of aluminum. I mean, you got to remember, this drag strip's been here since the 50s. Right. Friday, Saturday night. And what do you do on Friday and Saturday night? You tune your car, you race it, and you drink beer. Wow. <laughs> but I saw gold rings that were found. Uh, silver. We took a lot of silver out of that spectator size where we were working at that, but we did have a competition bringing in the most garbage. We, That's... we actually thought about doing something similar too, but then we thought, well, somebody's going to dig up half of a car just to try to win and tear up the lawn, digging up that huge chunk of metal. So right. then we're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Over there, it's not hard. The, the amount of pull tabs are in <laughs> that. You can't make a single sweep. You got to understand your detector and listen that one high tone in there you better be digging it and there were walk of liberty has found there were uh bends there were stand liberty quarters because this went back in the night this place started over here at 1955 so you had quite the range of change there were jewelry keys oh my god there were car keys found and that kind of stuff and um we hunted it several times i had to club over several times and Quite a bit of stuff came up, but boy, is it, oh man, unbelievable amount of, and you know, you may not know this, Mindy, the rest of you will, you remember the old spark plugs had a gap ring on there when you seated them, it was copper, or it could be, uh, yeah, hundreds of those, and they ring up identical to a certain time. Uh, oh, heartbreaker. Everywhere. Right. It Compr was a uh, compression seal. Yep, compression seal. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mike Lackwomet says that Cordova Club hunt was my first group activity. That's been a while back, hasn't it, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of fun to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, Charles Harley states, most ethical detectorists will take the trash out and responsibly dispose of it. Yep. Exactly. We follow the the Boy Scouts, you know, where you leave it how you, better, or really. leave it better than how you found, how you found it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how we try to be with every hunt. So. Right. But, you know, they get in a rush. Yeah. And it happens. And it's not all of them by any means. No, so, no, no, no. A few so, can ruin it for all. Yeah. And I think next year, too, like if we have a map of the property, I'm going to post it earlier than because we didn't get the map of the property until Friday night. So, oh. um, so I, yeah, I would like like to get it earlier. So and so that people will actually look at it and realize that hey, I shouldn't probably go where the red is. <laughs> but you did it uh, right. Your whole team did. Yeah, we. I mean, we did have to have people policing it for a minute, but then we got it figured out. So yeah, we're we good. had one breakdown of a pickup truck, and he had to have oh. a. Oh, poor Jeff. Yeah, poor Jeff. Yeah. yeah. I felt sorry for Jeff and crew. Oh, I hope that because he said he was going to have it towed to Ames. Um, and not back to Des Moines, thankfully. And you and had it, the load of chairs for the meet and greet yeah. in the back of it when it died. <laughs> so then we had to move all the chairs to another. Oh, uh, uh, did he? Did you guys find out what happened to it? He thinks the starter went out. Yeah, and he never said any differently. So yeah, so I assume that's what it was. Yeah. So, and other than that, things went along pretty well. I didn't hear too many. Oh, in the past, we had one guy lock his keys in a car, and KG yeah. and me and uh, Ron. Oh, yeah. there. That's right. They had to break into it. They, yeah. got, they got video of them breaking into it. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't have that this time. We did have someone lose their $100 bill in the night pinpointer hunt. She found but it. then she found it exactly where she was parked. So the next morning. <laughs> the next she morning. So and she got it back. <laughs> she got it back. Wow. Yeah. That was luck. Right? Yeah. And they came all the way from North Dakota, too. Yeah. Ooh, well, 
North. Yeah, we had people from all over this yeah. year. It felt yeah. like it felt like more states than usual. We had uh, Washington, North Dakota, South Dakota, Texas, Idaho, New Jersey, Idaho, Colorado, uh, North Carolina, Florida, of course, Arizona, Arizona, all of the Middle East, Middle all or Midwest, the Midwest, states, yeah, of course. So we're thinking about sixteen different states, yeah, somewhere in there. Good. I know the one year. Uh, at Galesburg, we were either 16 or 17, maybe 18 states. We had them from Jersey all the way out. We had California, Colorado, uh, Arizona. Same, just like you guys. It's just like, really? You know, you go, wow. You, you come that far to do this. It's amazing. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. amazing to me. So Yeah, like, like right. we've never, when we started doing this, you know, in 2016, we never expected it. No. To, same with the, the the Facebook group in general. It has never been a goal of us to be over ten thousand members. We just thought it'd be kind of cool. Um Scott McCory says Wisconsin. Don't oh, forget, oh, yeah. don't oh, forget the head. Oh my god. <laughs> Scotty. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, Carrie Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> he brought us a bunch of beer from Wisconsin. So it's we, our, our favorite um New brewer Glarus. is New Glarus, and so and he works for them. So he brought us some. It's like this is awesome. And Chris, <laughs> yes, we won't forget Chris. <laughs> but, uh, I like Potosi, right? Beer. There were there were a few from Wisconsin there. Yeah. Mm, lots of well, the, the usual Wisconsin boys. So they they've been to almost every single hunt, which is amazing. Good. Um, yeah, we love those guys. And it's fun to see the same people too, like kids that start coming oh when they're gosh. three or four years old. Yes. They come every year, you know, and then we Emily. see them grow up. And Emily 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 yeah. Um, she, she I was, him up to me and he goes, You remember me? And this guy's right here. He top of his head right here. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, you know, well, I can't. Well, and- uh, you were at this hunt down there when they were at the one, I think it was all the way down to, uh, in Rock Island County here, down to the uh, Loud Thunder area where the Boy Scout camp was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's seven, eight years ago. He was like eight years old. Now he's yeah, like yeah. 17. He and his two buddies and a dad drove up. I yeah. <laughs> okay. It's hard to remember all of them, but they all remember you. Oh, I know. Well, even Evie is she's five foot three now. Like <laughs> she's getting tall. I <laughs> she I looked at you and be as tall as mom. I have my arm around and she goes, Yeah. <laughs> and not far from dad. Oh <laughs> she's grown. These kids are going, Whoa. my goodness. It's well, nuts to think that, that again that. When we started this, Evie was, you know, four, four, years. four years old, and now she's yeah. 12. So, and yeah. we, we've had a lot of kids or parents say that they look forward to this as much as they do Christmas or more sometimes. Yeah. I know. It. So it's we all love giving to the kids. Year. Sure. And that, that, let's see, I've got one more hunt to do, and then I'm gone on a couple places. I'm going to go do a, a hunt down here for, uh, Memorial Hunt, I think it is, with uh, cent- not Central, I, uh, IVHRA group, mm-hmm. and that's about it this year. Uh, I generally do Chicago, can't make that, I'll be out of country, and mm-hmm. things crossed over there, can't help that, so, but I do two to three hunts a year, that's about it. You guys, is, when we do have one, I set up, and then Chicago, a couple other places, but I don't do the whole circuit. There's guys that just literally travel a circuit of hunts. That's all they do. That's too busy for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would love to do something out east. Um, but, yeah, we just, we're so busy. And uh, we hope to do Chicago, uh, the yeah. Chicago hunt in September. Um, but I'm, like, in Pennsylvania the weekend before. So, I I don't know. We'll see. We're, we're going to try and make it work. There's one out in Jersey. That, right. We'd all like to be everywhere, but it's tough. It's it tough. is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mindy, no glass of good stuff. It's in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go, Frankie. You know where 
was chilling. Oh, uh, Teresa's uh, coming. Hi, chilling Teresa. for after the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to round Frank up the night of the, the night hunt. I'm like, where the heck did he go? He's uh, out. I see a crowd in the middle of the yeah. There's Frank. Here, you got to try this. You got to try this. I'm laughing. His wine and his uh, styrofoam cup. He was giving us the cherry wine. We oh, my gosh. It. it was so good. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I Frank said if there's a crowd when we're past the dinner hour. We're all saying. <laughs> it's the good stuff. A good time, too. On Thursday, Quarter Hoarder will have a live stream going on Thursday. He's mm -hmm. going to have KG and Ringy on there, and then we'll be on there as well. Yeah. So, hey, should be a good time. Good. <laughs> good. We'll watch that. Nice. It's 7 30 Eastern, um, so 6 30 Central. Six 30 hours, 6 30 mm -hmm. our time. Okay. Yep. KG and Ringy on their channel. All right. Yeah. Excellent. I should have yeah. had it in here tonight. We could have rubbed it in about the kilt, and we could have rubbed it in <laughs> about the Cyhawk. Yeah. <laughs> right. Cyclones. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the amount of people that have joined, I, you know, since since the hunt, we've obviously had a big boost in activity big, big boost. on the page. So all of these folks were reaching out saying, hey, how do I get into the hunt? And we're like, well, it's been sold out since December of last year. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm suspecting um, this coming December when tickets do go on sale, they're going to go even quicker. Um, <laughs> So if you have not set an alarm, make sure you do. That is, let me look for sure. I think it's December 1st, but let me confirm. You know, not gonna, that ain't that far away. Ah. I, know. I know. That's what I mean. Like, it comes fast. It really comes quickly. It does. Yep. It's December 1st at 6 p.m. Central. Oh, yeah. Last year, it sold out in two hours, but I think it was purely because we had that bigger venue amount of people mm -hmm. yeah usually it's 20 minutes yeah yep, yep, yep. so well josh do we lose josh <laughs> huh? nope, oh, there we no are. josh is right here <laughs> oh okay we just couldn't see you <laughs> In the bright orange shirt. Josh has been trying to keep oh, an eye on the say, chat. Can you see my shirt? Oh, Mindy's your twin. I got my Camp Hanishaw shirt on. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> so I, I had to oh, get a yeah, shirt. That's, they, that's bright orange. Yeah, yeah, they had a bunch of them for sale at the camp, and I love literally. This literally, this this shirt is so bright. We were in Walmart, and my wife calls me and says, where are you at? And I told her, I said, I'm down in grocery. She says, well, I'm over by Lawn and Garden. So I stepped out from the grocery action yeah. alley a few feet. I said, you can <laughs> probably see me now. And she says, good Lord, you weren't kidding when you said you can't lose you in that shirt. Blaze orange. <laughs> Yeah, the camp right. had a whole bunch of really cool things for a sale. They had um, a history book actually on the camp, I which was pretty awesome. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Right. Right. So, all right, yeah, y'all got the scoop on when they're selling next year's tickets. And God, God willing, we'll all be there having a good time. Right. Set to your Very alarm. Cool. Maybe we can it could sell out in like eight and a half minutes. Maybe, yeah, eight and a half minutes. Yeah, maybe we. It's really honestly, it's how quickly me and Casey can type <laughs> because he's reading off names <laughs> and I'm entering them on a spreadsheet. Yeah. So <laughs> sometimes it takes. Oh yeah, I've minutes. I've heard I've heard from people before where they're like, I don't know, they haven't liked my post. I don't know if <laughs> I got in. Yeah, right. Well, you got to give them time. Yeah. yeah. Casey and Mindy, there seems to be a little confusion. People are throwing Thursday. They're going to talk about, and this is KG and Ringy, not quarter order. The hunt. it's on quarter order show. Yes, it's on quarter, it's on quarter, order. quarter order show. Yeah. Right. No, it's yeah. Yeah, it's quarter order's live stream. And it's at six thirty. They're all saying, "I always thought he started at quarter after." Yeah. It's 30 it's, Thursday. 
We're we're looking for sure. Yeah. Six thirty. Yep, six thirty. That's because he, he originally it. started it. It was going to be quarter after. Right. And he he is editing a show just on the hunt. Mm-hmm. Up shortly because I talked with him quite a bit, and then he come over and did. Got all excited. I found that little gold ring, and we talked about different things, and interviewed me out talking about other stuff. And then uh, that's about the time, or that was just after when Ringy found that nice button. That didn't even work. I. I wish I could just, you know, let you give me money on the down low, but no, (laughs) I can't. Unfortunately. (laughs) So. Well, that's about it for me, kids, and you and, and and Josh can sign off, and I'll get out of here, and we'll talk again there, Casey, about anything else we want to do in the future. Yeah. And uh, my thoughts go out to... Uh, Keith and Kelly. Yes. Especially Kelly. Please. Yeah. I saw his post on History Seekers the other day on the medication, and I told Jill, and she said... That's not right. right. So, yeah, prayers for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, it, Josh, it, isn't, it isn't right. Yeah. No, that's not you too. So, <sighs> all right, I'm signing off, guy. All right. All right. Thanks again. Thanks, Thanks guys. Oh. All right. Well, we'll let uh, we'll go ahead and we'll let Chuck out the door here real quick. See if we can get that done. Boot him out. I don't know. I think <laughs> I've go. got him. <laughs> there we go. He's gone. Okay. Anything else you two would like to add? I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly and Heath, of course, have a uh, fundraiser going. I go fund me on there. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to send their money directly to right. them through PayPal to avoid the fees. Um, but yeah. um, if anybody Makes wants sense. to donate, you know, that would be outstanding. Yeah. They need and all the help they can get I right assume, now. Yeah. I assume you have, have the link for the GoFundMe up on DTH? It is. Yeah. Yes. And it's on History Seekers and. Eats personal page, of mm. course. Yes. But otherwise, no, everything went great and we're almost recovered, but we're super happy for, mm. for the uh, turnout and uh, uh, how everything went. It went very well and a lot of a lot of fun was had, a lot of memories made. Yes. It's a really good time. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys dropping in for the uh, recap of how things went at the hunt little different Thanks format for, for you guys than what you're used to from the right. uh, past times on the show but yeah, yeah it's fun it'll work we're, out we're good. I, yeah i think that's where we'll stick all yeah. right well i appreciate you guys for dropping in you two have a wonderful evening you, yeah, you too, too. We'll see, ya. <laughs> see ya night everybody All right, so Chuck and and Casey and Mindy all talking about the DTH recap. Uh, Very cool, very cool indeed. Obviously, as I said, we were not here Wednesday. Uh, I don't know. Life just seems to continually try to get in the way, and it's been things that, I can't just go, okay, well, I'll take care of that tomorrow or I'll take care of that after the show. I have to get it done. uh, Well, the last couple of occurrences, it's had to be dealt with right then. So we appreciate everyone for hanging in there with us. Um, So I would say we'll be back Wednesday. But I don't know. All we can do is hope, right? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 
So a big thanks to Casey and Mindy for taking the time to give us all an update on how things went with DTH Spring Hunt 24. Kind of hard to believe. 25 will be 10 years. All right. Either way, if uh, you got a kick out of the show, throw us a like. You know how it goes. Until the next one, we got to roll. Have a wonderful sure, evening, folks. We're out of here. Right. Thanks for dropping by and joining in. If you like metal detecting, treasure hunting, gold prospecting, or even entertaining discussion, check us out Wednesdays and Sundays, 8 p.m. Eastern, on your favorite podcast distribution services.